course, record voter turnout in South Carolina today, and I want to talk to two experts about it. Join me now with an insider's perspective of the race. Charleston County GOP Chair Larry Kabrowski. Thank you. John Bazzini with the Democratic Party. Appreciate you guys taking the time out to speak to me about this tonight. I want to start with you, Larry. Talk about this Trump win. It was a big win. Nah. Kind of saying what people were afraid to say and think about it. Is that the people he kind of was won over? Well, I think it's a, it's a huge night. We had almost 700,000 people. It was a record turnout here in Charleston. I, was, I went to the polls today, and I think... You know, the people spoke and, uh, you know, uh, people are just tired of the same thing. I think it's a, it's a break with the status quo. People, I mean, it's not politics as usual anymore. Marco Rubio put everything into South Carolina. Right. Got what he wanted with Jeb Bush kind of dropping out. Is it really a three-man race now? Rubio really needed South Carolina. I think a four-man race. I think it's still, okay. at, and uh, Kasich did well. He came in some places, second or third in some precincts in Charleston County. We have, it now goes, but it, it really, it really didn't matter who came in second. The vote for yeah. Trump was significant. You know, I went to the rallies, I saw it coming. When he went to his rallies, you had people who never were involved in politics before just fed up with the status quo and it was their way of, of making a statement. And I think uh, it was Bush, I think he spent tens of millions of dollars attacking Rubio and, and I think he did the right thing by uh, getting out and I think now the race continues, but I, I like I saw what happened in Nevada, and I can say as a Republican that Hillary will be the great unifier. So <laughs> you may see a division today, but if she is the nominee, it would be no trouble getting yeah. us unified. Trump has support across lines, conservative as well as moderate supporters. Do you think that affects the Democrats at all? Because maybe some of the Democrats are looking at him too. No, not really. Not at really all. at all. No, okay. I mean you know, certainly Secretary Clinton um, won today in Nevada. A yeah. win is a win. Okay. But really, this now shifts to South Carolina, and she's going to need margin here. Yeah, well, she has a big lead. We already know that, and she's predicted to do well in South Carolina. But she's predicted to do well in other states in Nevada right. too. But that lead er was eroded to Bernie Sanders. Are we going to see the same here. Different demographics in South Carolina. Extremely different. Yeah. Uh, you're going to see the African American vote is going to be key here mm -hmm. in South Carolina. Mm -hmm. um, there were some stats earlier that the record turnout among minorities throughout Nevada, and a lot of that went to Secretary Clinton. But on the same token, though, a lot of the folks who actually went up to caucus for Senator Sanders, mm -hmm. about 70 percent report this was actually their first time caucusing. So okay. it'll be interesting to see how, how it plays out. Unfortunately, we're a little low, short on time. Real quick, who do the Democrats want to see the GOP? Who do they want to go against? Oh, Donald Trump. They want to go against him because they think they have a good chance of beating Absolutely. him. That's the guy they want to be. They're Absolutely. more scared of Rubio. Hmm? Sometimes you, don't get what you ask for. <laughs> right, right. You think you think the Democrats would? Uh... I think it'll be uh, if it's Hillary and uh, Trump. It's all well, hell will break loose. It, it'll yeah. be in, in, in what Trump did do and at the rallies. I saw people never involved in politics before, and he speaks to people who are fed up with political correctness and just can't take it anymore. Okay. Larry, Don, Thank appreciate you. it. We're running out of time. Buckle your chin straps. It'll be a fun <laughs> ride, that's for sure. Wish we could talk about it.